Hello, this is Maria Borgoff, and today I want to talk about going outside your comfort zone. So I wrote a blog post about this, and in there, there is this really great graphic, and you might have seen it before. There is a small bubble, and it says your comfort zone, and then there's a big bubble outside of the smaller bubble that says where the magic happens. So we all love being comfortable. I can say, at least for myself, I love wearing comfortable clothing. I love being at home and getting cozy. I love being around my friends who already know me and I don't really have to work too hard at that relationship or at that conversation. And it's really hard to go outside of the comfort zone. It's hard to do things where maybe you don't know anyone, uh, maybe it's uh, learning a new skill that, you've, that you have no experience doing. Um, maybe it's simply going to a new place that you've never been before and so you have to be open to admitting that you don't know where you are, that you don't know that you could be lost and, and that is an uncomfortable thing. So what I wanna talk about and touch on today is the importance of doing things that make us uncomfortable and also noticing what specific things trigger that discomfort for you. And for me personally, those small things that I want to avoid because they are uncomfortable, simply because they're uncomfortable, not because I'm uninterested in them, not because it's going to be too difficult, but because they're going to cause me some level of discomfort or they're going to make me do something that I might not be sure of the outcome. Those specific things I know I need to do. And I'll give you an example. Um, going to a party by myself has always been a really difficult thing for me. Showing up at a place without someone by my side to kind of have that safety net and showing up in a place where I might not know anybody there, maybe a couple people, but maybe not, is something that's really difficult for me. And I think it's something that's difficult for a lot of people too. So I found myself in this situation a few times and and there were some situations where I was like, okay, I can do this. And I talked myself into it and I did it and it was wonderful. And there were some situations where I just was at this point where I could not motivate myself to get to that party or to get into that situation by myself. And so I started looking at what were the differing factors? Why was I able to convince myself to, to go outside my comfort zone and, and then what were the things that were really holding me back? And I think what it all boiled down to was really the focus and, and the greatness of the why factor, the motivation, right? So in the beginning of this video, I said that we all like to be comfortable. So why would we do things that make us uncomfortable? Well, we also know that this is our comfort zone. This is where the magic happens. So with the knowing that we want to be comfortable, we also know that really beautiful, unexpected things can happen to us when we go outside of that comfort zone. So what motivates us in specific situations to go outside that comfort zone and to take that leap of faith not really knowing whether it's gonna be worth it or not. So again, I like to look at the why factor, or the motivation behind it. So in this, in this specific example of going to a party by myself, uh, the why factor was that I wanted to, so why do I want to go to this party even though I'm gonna go by myself and it's gonna be uncomfortable? Because I want to meet new people and I want to get better at communicating. So maybe that was motivation enough to get me there. Now, in a different situation, maybe I wasn't able to come up with that why. Maybe I wasn't able to answer that question. And if I wasn't able to answer the why question as to 
why should I do this thing that's gonna make me uncomfortable? If I'm not able to answer that question, then I'm not gonna be able to find the motivation to actually go outside my comfort zone. Because if I do, if I go there not really knowing why I'm there, then I might not find that magic. I might not experience something, even though it's unexpected, even though I had an idea of it, I might not get what I'm looking for. I'm, it might not be worth it. So for me, knowing kind of what my motivation is, why I'm doing this thing that's making me uncomfortable, knowing that and being really clear on it, not only helps me in the process of doing this thing that's uncomfortable, but it also helps me evaluate if that thing was successful. So another example, is um, going rock climbing. So when I first learned how to rock climb, I didn't like it because it was really hard and I was uncomfortable about not being very good and I just made up all these excuses. And so now when I am invited to go rock climbing or I'm invited out somewhere to do that and I kind of feel myself step back a little bit and say, hmm, do I want to go? Am I going to be uncomfortable? Am I going to have all of the things to make me comfortable? Um, I find myself kind of evaluate that. And there are some times where I just don't want to go. I have something else I want to do instead. And there's other times where I'm really resisting, where I'm really kind of stepping back and being like, can I make up an excuse? Or do I have the motivation to, to get there and to do this thing that I'm uncomfortable with? And again, it really comes down to being able to answer that why question. Why do I want to be good at rock climbing? Why do I wanna be okay with showing up when I'm invited to go rock climbing? And at the end of it is I, I want to get better at things that I'm not good at. So I want to learn a new skill. And so that's gonna be the motivation. And when I kind of show up in that, in that space of I'm here to learn something new, then that helps me to to address my discomfort. That allows me to say, I don't know what I'm doing and that's okay. So if you have something that makes you uncomfortable, whether it's a topic of conversation, whether it's expressing your feelings to your partner or to a friend or maybe to your, to your family, um, maybe it's just a certain activity that you try to avoid doing. If there's something that makes you uncomfortable, something that kind of triggers that resistance a little bit, then I invite you to reflect a little bit on it. Now, if it's something that makes you uncomfortable or that you just don't wanna do in general, if it's just something you don't wanna do, that's okay. But if it kind of triggers something, if it triggers this resistance, then I invite you to ask yourself why or why it is that you still want to do it. So we can also, not wanna do things, but also still wanna do things, so that's the resistance. So ask yourself why. What is your motivation for doing it, for going outside your comfort zone? What do you wanna get from that thing? So I hope this is helpful, and I hope that this helps you kind of show up in that practice of addressing your discomfort in a more mindful way. So I'll see you soon.